The Coachella Valley Arena will be one of the biggest and most expensive projects ever built in the Valley. So who's behind the new arena? What's their track record and how will it benefit the Valley? News Channel News Peter Dow is live in the newsroom tonight with his I-Team investigation on all of that and more. Peter. John, before the arena's arrival next year, we wanted to hear directly from its developers. And they say this is just one of several major projects they're currently working on. Construction is underway on 43 acres of unincorporated land near Palm Desert, just north of the 10 freeway next to the Classic Club Golf Course. These renderings show what the $300 million privately funded arena is expected to look like once it's completed by the end of 2022. It will include seating for about 11,000 people, two ice rinks, along with several lounge and club areas. The arena is expected to host an American League hockey team live music and other sporting events. This is the kind of development that really creates a major economic impact for all of Palm Desert and the rest of the valley. Tim Lewicki is the founder and partner of the Oakview Group, which is the arena's developer. He spent nearly two decades at the helm of AEG, which built the $2.5 billion LA Live Complex in downtown Los Angeles. He also oversaw AEG's global expansion including development of the $976 million O2 Arena in London, England. So why is he now focused on the Coachella Valley? The, the funny thing about Riverside County, it's the 13th largest metropolitan area in the United States, and it doesn't have a major arena. So it's underserved, underdeveloped. This is one of nine arenas that Oakview Group is building around the world, totaling about $5 billion. What's even more remarkable is this is all happening during the pandemic, and the company says there have been no delays. Oakview Group's biggest project is its redevelopment of the former Key Arena in Seattle for the Kraken, the city's new National Hockey League team. When we do open those doors and the puck does drop for that first game, it's going to be an amazing experience for the fans. The Kraken will be part owners of the Coachella Valley Arena, which will serve as the home ice for its AHL franchise. Part of the reason is the majority of our owners on the Seattle Kraken own homes in Coachella Valley during the wintertime. So it's a huge point of destination back and forth and easy to get our players back and forth. In Georgia, the Savannah Arena is on time and on budget despite the pandemic. It's home to a new hockey team as well. Right now, they're known as the Savannah Pro Hockey Team. City leaders were pleased at the topping out ceremony last month, promising not only sports, but entertainment and aiming for big names. One step closer to this building opening, and as it's being one step closer, it's one step closer to us getting Beyonce. The company's other projects include the $1.5 billion UBS Arena that will serve as the home of the New York Islanders hockey team. It's expected to bring thousands upon thousands of jobs. This will be one of the busiest music venues in all of the world. Also in the works, the $338 million arena in Austin, Texas will be home to the Longhorns basketball program and the $500 million co-op live arena in Manchester, England, which when completed will be the largest arena in the UK. You know, just doing one arena is a big project. <laughs> How do you have nine arenas under construction at the same time? So this is what we do. We're good at it. Our, our partners are Silver Lake, which is one of the largest investment funds in the world. So there's a certainty and experience and a knowledge on how to get things done. Lewicki says his company will also be bidding on a variety of events for the Coachella Valley Arena. If you think about it, is there a better place to come than Coachella Valley during the wintertime? So NCAA events and tournaments, youth hockey tournaments. There's no reason we can't do either Lakers or Clippers training camp in Coachella Valley. And I think they want that if they had a facility like the arena. But how does he think the arena will end up benefiting the Valley in the long run? The economic impact of this private investment is literally two and a half billion dollars to the Valley. And we didn't ask for a penny from the taxpayers. If all goes according to plan, Lewicki hopes to officially break ground on the arena later this month with its first event happening in October of next year. For the I-Team, Peter Doubt, News Channel 3. Thank you, Peter. And do you have a tip at home that you want the I-Team to investigate? Tell us about it. Email us at iteam at KESQ.com or call the KESQ Newsroom.